Be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below. And make sure you turn on notifications by clicking on that bell icon. While developing, Obama CIA chief John Brennan made secret visit to Russia around the same time as Fusion GPS produced anti-Trump memos. Now, well, isn't that interesting? Obama CIA chief John Brennan... Uh, who is fiercely anti-Trump, made a secret visit to Moscow in March of 2016. Now, weeks later, uh, in June, Christopher Steele with Fusion G GPS, who was hired indirectly by Hillary Clinton, produced his first anti-Trump memo. Now, this is uh, via the Donald Reddit. This says here, a case made can be made that Brennan flew to Moscow to get the dossier direct from FSB, gave it to Fusion GPS, who hired Steele to put his name on it and peddle it, and who, distur um, and who distrib distributed it to literally everyone else. Now, according to the report earlier this month, former Senate Minority Leader Harry Reid believed that Brennan was using him in order to publicize uh, pretend links between Trump campaign associates and the Russian government. Now the Russian papers are reported to on the visit at the time. Um, let's see here. It says the Moscow Times reports on reported on the trip uh, on March 28th of 2016, saying this: John Brennan, the director of the Central Intelligence Agency or CIA, made a secret visit to Moscow on in March, according to a Russian Deputy Foreign Minister Oleg. Uh, Sir Molotov. Now the visit, he said, had nothing to do with Russia's decision two weeks ago to begin withdrawing from Syria. Now, it's no secret that Brennan was here. Uh, Sir Molotov was quoted by the Interfax news agency as saying Monday, but he didn't visit the foreign ministry. I know for sure that he met with the Federal Security Service, the successor agency to the Soviet KGB, and someone else. Now, it wasn't clear why Brennan visited Moscow, but the trip appears to have con uh, coincided with President, the President Vladimir Putin's surprise um, March 14th announcement that Russia's combat operation in Syria was ending, and Moscow would soon withdraw a portion of its forces from the country after conducting 167 airstrikes. Now, today, John Brennan is one of the most vocal Trump critics, which is interesting. But be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below and tell me how you feel about this report. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. Let's make America great again. Peace.